Lawyers representing the Clico Policy Holders Group have argued in a letter dated September 23, 2010, that the central bank had made statements telling policyholders that their money was safe, that they should roll over their deposits upon maturity, and that Clico would be restored. The lawyers also argued that such statements were in effect expressed assurance given by the government and the bank that policyholders' funds were guaranteed and that the terms and conditions of the existing policy contracts would be honoured. Then came the budget, the lawyers say, changing existing policy, and it is for this reason it is seeking to hold the central bank legally culpable. But the central bank says not so. It's arguing that, firstly, it has never been empowered to give any money to insurance companies and that any money in the recovery effort was to come from CL Financial, going further to say that its role was limited to policy and management actions to support the financial assistance provided by the government. The central bank says that statements made on January 30, 2009, when the Clico collapse was first announced, were made in the interest of containing the systemic and contagion risk of Clico and furthermore were based on information that was available to it then. The bank says that when it took control of Clico on February 13, 2009, the statements it made from there on reflected a better understanding of the finances of Clico and CL Financial. The bank is also saying that in the statements it made over the period 2009 to 2010, it was not reasonable for policyholders to have interpreted those statements as constituting a clear and unambiguous representation that all policy contracts would be honoured in accordance with the full terms and conditions thereof. Rather, the bank says in working with the government, it was seeking to assure that in the developing situation, the CLECO policyholders would have been offered the best possible protection subject to reasonable public policy constraints. The central bank goes on to say that in any event it was not able by law to give any binding assurances since it had no power to provide financial assistance to Clico. The bank says it considers the budget proposals as an option to policyholders which is not inconsistent with its own efforts to find an acceptable solution in the changed circumstances.